YouTube, what is up guys? Today I have this diamond that I found skateboarding on the sidewalk, believe it or not, about a year and a half ago. It's been sitting on my windowsill and we are finally getting around to testing it to see if it is real or if it is fake. But make sure to smash this like button if you enjoy this video because I have a separate diamond over here that I'm going to show you how to check to see if it is real or fake using a microscope. But this video here is for those of you that don't have a microscope, so this is for a separate video. Okay, so first thing everybody knows about diamonds is that diamonds scratch glass. Okay, so we have this mason jar right here, and I've already done this test off camera, so I know this is going to work, but if it can't scratch glass, it's definitely not a diamond. Even most fake diamonds will still be able to scratch glass, but um, that's the first test you really need to do. So I'm going to do a new example, but I've already got some gouges in here from doing this uh, on this glass. So. There we go, let's do another go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so hopefully the camera will pick this up, but yeah, there we go. So you can see these scratches right here on the glass, uh, and the diamond itself looks totally fine. Like, there's nothing at all wrong with the diamond. It uh, didn't take the beating. The jar definitely, definitely took the beating. You know, one other test you can do with a glass of water is if you drop it, some cheaper fakes they'll actually like really slowly go down or when they go down they'll start to float up a little before they go back down if it's real it should just sink like a rock like it should just straight to the bottom sink like a rock so three two one and as you can see basically instantly goes to the bottom so let me grab my tweezers here and get this out of here we'll do that one more time to show you okay, i'll show you a little upper close so one two three and instantly you can't even i mean it it sunk like a, like a rock like it should okay so so far it has passed all the tests now there is one more test you can do um but this test also is not 100 percent evident whether it's real or whether it's fake but if you take anything with like you know pretty pretty small lettering on it like a receipt uh, even just a book would be fine a newspaper anything like that and if you can read the text through it then it's definitely definitely a fake but as you can see here, you can't read anything through it. Even on, th on this side, you can slightly see through it a little, but you can't make out what it actually says um, because it's reflecting the light in all different ways. So, so far, based on all of our tests, I mean, it's led us to believe that it is a real diamond. Okay, now at home, if you don't have a microscope and you can't look at the edges and everything, look at the cuts, look for imperfections, the only other thing you can do is you can light it on fire and then put it in water. So what you're going to do is you're going to get it really hot. I'm going to use these tweezers, use a lighter, and I'm going to go 30 seconds so it's really hot, and I'm going to drop it in water. Now, if it's a real, if it's a real diamond, it'll be 100% fine. Nothing will happen to it. Um, but if it's a fake, like it'll lose all of this, and it'll spider web, or it'll get like crazy cloudy. It'll be 100% obvious that something was wrong, that it, it just went, everything went awry, okay? But if not, if, if everything looks fine, then it's a real diamond. So this is the final test, and we are going to get right into this. I'm going to use my phone to, uh, to time out 30 seconds, but I'm pretty sure it's not an exact science or anything. So here we go. We're just going to light it on fire. Hold it under the fire, and the soot from, you know, the smoke is going to make it black. That's normal. Whether it's real or fake, that'll happen. But it will all just come right off in the water. 15 seconds. Put it in the flame, above the flame, all over the place. Okay, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's 30 seconds. And now we are going to drop it in the water and see what happens. Okay, now right away, the soot, most of the soot just came off in the jar. And then when we go down here, we can take a closer inspection. So I'm gonna wipe it off a little with here. Okay, now let's take an inspection at the diamond itself. Okay, now if you look at it, as you can see, it is all like spider webbed out on the inside. It looks totally weird. 
does not look like what we started with. And that means it is a fake. If it was a real, it would look exactly the same when you put it in as when you took it out. Okay, so this is a fake diamond. And it was a pretty good fake, though, because it passed most of our tests. It just didn't pass this final one. And, uh, yeah, that's really all there is to it. So if your diamond can get hot, really, really hot, and put it in water, and it's totally fine, it is a real diamond. But if it does not pass this test, then it, then it will look like this. Now, I do not recommend doing this on something that you still like. Like, you can have a fake diamond that you still really like. Well, this is going to ruin it in the process. So do not do this on a piece of jewelry that you actually like, even if it's fake. But if it's a rock you find or something, like in this case, go ahead and do this test. It's a very quick, take you 30 seconds way to just cut to the chase, cut all the BS, get straight to it, and let you know if it's real or if it's fake. So let me know if you guys like the video. Smash that like button, and we will go ahead and test that other diamond with a microscope to see if it is real or fake. So if you're, in, if you're interested in learning how to look at diamonds and know based on how they look up close if they're real or fake, then make sure to follow us up for that video. It'll come out in the near future, probably next week. And until next time, I'll see you guys.